hey, I'm going to show you a little bit about PDF Squeezer. Um, so this is a PDF that I have flattened already, but it is pretty large. Let me show you. So it's 54.6 megabytes, which is larger than it should be. So I have this program called PDF Squeezer downloaded in the App Store. It was maybe five or six dollars. I don't remember exactly. Um, it was worth every penny and then some. So you literally just drag the files there. And sometimes it can take a few minutes and you can drag more than one file if you want. And so we can lower it to 22.68. Um, you can also click preview and it'll show you sort of like you know how good it looks. Um, this is 300 DPI at 75% reduction and sometimes I'll go down to 300 DPI um, their preset like 50% reduction. Let me show you like the difference. So if I go to 75 DPI it's one megabyte but if you look so looking at the preview it's hard to tell but it's going to be a little blurry so I'm going to do I'll show you. So 75 DPO, DPI, is you can see how it's all pixelated there. You kind of don't want to do that. I don't even usually do the preview. I literally just kind of use my presets. Um, for products, I usually do 300 DPI, about 75%, sometimes 50%, just depending on what it is. And I'll show you that most of the time you won't even see the difference. So I'll show you. I will show you them side by side. So there's the one that I reduced. Here's the one that I didn't. I literally don't think you could tell the difference. Maybe like in some subtle shading right here, but who's going to notice that? Nobody. Um, if I'm doing a preview document, I will sometimes easily go down to 150 DPI. And I'll show you. But even then, sometimes on the screen, you can't tell the difference. See, on screen, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. If you printed it out, it might look like a little pixelated with some of the shadows and stuff. But on screen for a preview, um, to get it underneath the preview file size is totally what I do. To adjust the filters, you can go PDF, Manage Filters. Um, you can restore the default filters. You can change it here. You can convert it to CMYK, CMYK if you wanted to, which is kind of the standard in print. RGB is the standard for the screen. If you wanted to convert it to grayscale, you could. I don't think that I've ever actually tried that, but you could. So I have a few filters just set up for my own use here, but I highly recommend the program play around with it and see what it can do for you.